Imagine a towering oak crashing in an empty forest, no ears to hear it. Does it make a sound? The question isn't about trees but reality itself. Philosopher George Barclay argued no, sound is a perception, not just vibrations. If no mind hears it, there's only silent air rippling with pressure waves. But science says yes, sound is physical, whether detected or not. Here's the twist, the debate reveals two different definitions of sound. Physics defines it as vibrations, objective, consciousness defines it as experience, subjective. Locke split qualities into primary, real, like mass, and secondary, dependent on observers, like noise. Modern quantum theory adds fuel, particles behave differently when observed. So is reality out there or constructed by our minds? Even social media echoes this, a tweet unseen might as well not exist. The tree's fall challenges our certainty, what's real without witnesses? Some argue all existence relies on a perceiver, God, perhaps. Others insist the universe hums along, indifferent to observation. Next time you hear a sound, ask, is it the world or your brain playing translator? The tree thought experiment isn't about forests, it's about the limits of human knowledge. So, does it make a sound? Yes and no, and that's the point. Philosophy's power isn't answers, but better questions.